Hello and welcome back to another Gunpla review. Today we're taking a look at the MS-06CK Zaku Half Cannon, the high grade D origin line. The Zaku Half Cannon is in universe as well as in the kit the standard Zaku C-type with the Zaku Cannon's backpack and weaponry attached onto it. As such it has all the same articulation as any other the origin Zaku 2. So in the interest of keeping this review timely, I will be showing off the exclusive articulation to this kit and for a more in-depth look at the articulation of the origin Zaku 2, you can go watch my Red Comet review. As always, starting with the articulation, most of the figure is a standard Zaku 2, however, the backpack is that of the Zaku Cannon. You get a swivel at this point and a swivel at this point, and the handle or the missile launchers is also articulated. Both of these connections are polygaps, by the way, both inside the backpack and inside the weapon, so plenty of friction to hold poses. On the cannon side of things, you get that much movement, and that's it. Now the thing about the half cannon is most of the accessories are on the actual mobile suit, attached to the backpack. As such, you get two pairs of hands. However, uh, as far as I know, this is the only Origin Zaku to have a right open hand. Though, it came on a different runner, and as such... Come on, focus. Is very slightly different, as it's made of a different plastic. The shade of gray is very slightly lighter and also it's more of a matte finish than the standard plastic. It's not too big of a deal, honestly, I think just a light clear coat over the part would be enough to fix that. But nevertheless, it's still slightly annoying. Moving on, the half cannon does share some runners, obviously, with the other Zakus, so you do get both forms of the Heat Hawk. If you watched my Red Comet review, which you should have, you'll notice that I've painted each of them in the two different activated forms of the Heat Hawk. However, the gray plastic used on both of them is different, which is slightly annoying. Also, personally, I find the Origin Zaku's hands to be slightly annoying to separate, which is necessary in order... Let's just attach that on. In order to have it holding on to the handles because of that slate lip at the top. Just going to have to... Uh, it around it, put the other half of the fingers and the thumb. Not too hard to get it on, but it's annoying to get it off. Anyway, let's just let's just leave that alone. And finally, you get the optional cannon instead of a artillery cannon. It's a machine gun, which. It's not something you're going to want to be swapping a lot, because it's slightly annoying to do so. Also, there is a bit of additional detailing on this cannon of the rounds inside, which you don't actually see because this completely covers it. So, uh, this cannon specifically means that you can only have... Oh, yeah, you see, the fingers came off. Uh, <clears throat> not really important. Just slide the 
on in. Then you take the uh, <clears throat> ammunition belt and push it in here. And it's not too bad. Just push it down a little bit and it looks fairly natural. The barrels do not rotate as this is just two halves of plastic connected together. Also importantly, the half cannon comes with a sticker sheet with a bunch of red striping for the mobile suit. Now I've elected to paint that detail onto it as well I've left off a couple of lines up at the knee and along the foot and I added one onto the shield. I like it, I like it better that way. And as usual I've left off the marking stickers as I prefer cleaner looking kits. And with all Zaku's it comes with two different eye types, just a flat pink as well as a gradient style. And you just choose which one of those you prefer. Now, taking a look at the option parts, which I think is important for these origin kits, as the Saku 2s come with a lot, depending on which kit you get. Uh, let's start with the polycaps. You get a few left over, including three of these ball joint types, which is good if you get other Saku 2s, as they use these for the backpack thrusters. Speaking of backpack thrusters, you do get two of the bells on this runner, as well as a trigger finger hand. However, you don't get the back of the hand, though it is the same as the other hands in the kit. They all use the same mold, so you can swap one of those if you want the Zaku Half Cannon holding a rifle. Moving on, it has the standard options parts for the head. The cap without the hole in it, and the cap with the hole in it, for the commander antenna. Also, it comes with the tops of the feet in tan, which is because the Charizaku has those in the same red as the rest of the kit, instead of making it darker like most standard Zaku. Speaking of standard Zaku, you get the standard Zaku 2 chest plate, as well as, this came off the runner and I'm not quite sure where it went, the standard connection to line up the details as the one on the kit is noticeably different and not compatible. You also get some additional chest pieces, which are missing piece. And finally you get an arm mounted machine gun, which isn't meant to be used. However, if you're using the minigun attachment and you only have one missile launcher, I think it would be nice to put this on the arm that doesn't have anything to do. And finally and least importantly, you get a action base adapter. But, like I said in my Red Comet review, the peg holes on the back are 3mm, so if you have any stand that has a 3mm peg, like the Tamashii Nation Act 5, which I use, you can just plug it into the butt without having to worry about using an action base. A quick size comparison, and what a surprise, it's the same height as every other Origin Saku. About average height for a mobile suit. To wrap things up, I happen to be a huge fan of the half cannon. I think this is one of the better origin Zaku's personally, though I have always been a fan of Tan. While fairly standard for origin Zaku's, that's not a bad thing. The origin Zaku is hands down the best high grade Zaku. Incredibly articulated. Very good part separation. I don't really have any complaints about it. This is one of the only, if not the only, Origin Zaku that comes with a 
right splayed hand. While the Origin kits come in at a bit of a higher price than the average high grade, it's for good reason. They are sub real grade quality. If you like the color scheme and you like the weapons, I wholeheartedly recommend getting this kit. But that's all for this review. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future content. And most importantly, share this video around with people who you think would enjoy it. And as always, until next time, happy building.